everyone can say hello to youtube because we're back to final fantasy can you believe everyone is currently playing rebirth and here i am here i am playing final fantasy 8. <laughs> So let's talk to some peeps and try to figure out where to go next. Um, Doctor gives strict orders not to let anyone inside the lab. Okay, so we can't go inside the lab. Yeah, maybe I should use times three because In the last 17 years in Sorcerer's Adele's reign, we have not remained isolated from the world. Perhaps we should have made contact. <laughs> Thanks for the 10 hours black screen videos. <laughs> do, 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 do those really exist? How many had at work? I thought those were a myth. I uh, genuinely thought those were a myth. I got a tornado. Let's go. Uh, so last time, I remember we were shopping here a little bit. They're helpful when getting around work IT. Which lets you, which likes to sign you out for after five minutes of inactive. Oh yeah, yeah, I got the same issue. <laughs> I don't use a blacked out videos though. I'm gonna be honest. I just leave. Usually it's actually four eight videos in the background, and I just mute the the videos. At least I'm giving views, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, we're trying to get the the punishment or the lion heart. But we need star fragments. How do I get star fragments? I had that written down somewhere. Yeah, these are those are good too, indeed. Uh, Iron Giant. Where can I find Iron Giant? Yeah, now I remember. We were trying to get new weapons. And we needed Iron Giant. Let me see the card first, just in case I play against one. So it's this one. We need a bunch of these. Okay. Should we play some cards then, right at the beginning, just to, you know, flex the old muscles? <laughs> the whistles and boops. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know what it is. My boy knows his stuff. Uh, what was my... Oh, it was Ward, and then we had these two. Come on, play me some Iron Giants. There we go. That's all I had to do was ask. <laughs> it's exactly what we need. There we go. We got an Iron Giant. Let's see how many of those do I need. So three will refine into one star fragment. So we'll need five more. Five more Iron Giants. Simple, easy. I'm just, I'm actually going to save right now. As soon as I can remember where I should have gone to save.
Oh, wait. Have I been here? I don't remember being here. Oh yeah, I was here. I remember now. Remember that draw spot right there. Got some Kuragas. Only one Kuraga. Okay. So they don't play cards. Okay, let's play some cards. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't gonna play cards, but you know I really want to try and get the um, the new weapon, which would be cool. Ding -ding. Yes, an Iron Giant, and yet with the gifted sub to Zack and to Tendi for the 28th and the 17 months. Thank you so much, yet how's it going? Good to see ya. <laughs> Thank you so much, yet how's it going? Happy. Thursday. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, actually, I know. We got another guy in Giant. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's been 17 months. Can you believe it? It's crazy. Yeah, we we are... Comp I know. I know what it is. I know what it feels like, Zach. We are completely lost for words when it comes to yet. I mean, I still believe in the 777 <laughs> gifted subs in the first week so we can get the absolute meme. I know, I know it's still possible. Not here, but that's the reason why I know it's still possible. <laughs> yeah, being near three, 300 is absolute wild. That is true. We can only pray, that's all we can do here. Oh, I'm doing great. Um Unfortunately, I... Uh, wait, he doesn't have... Oh, what should I pick? I'll play Chris then. Unfortunately, I, um, I had to... Jump back into work because I had the week for myself to help out... Um, during the streams. Luckily, it hasn't been that bad. It's been very... People have been behaving quite well and... Everything's been going smoothly, which is great. And I don't feel as bad as to not being helping as much as I wanted to. <laughs> Wait, it's Doggo. Um, but apart from that, it's been great. I've just been, uh, you know, doing work, doing stuff. <laughs> and I finally, today, I finally had some extra time to jump in and actually watch the game because I haven't I haven't seen it I haven't seen it in ages which is, which is you know I've, I've, I've seen ages I'm saying ages I don't know why I said ages I haven't seen it period <laughs> the work is the work is not just going to work out this week you had other obligations you still need to get paid dude um, so you're not gonna believe it, but at this point, I might as well just tell the story. <laughs> so, the reason, uh, the, the, the emergency is one of the new hires, per se, is gonna, is gonna part ways with the company. Um, not his decision, so you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> and the reason uh, my boss isn't keeping him is kind of crazy. 
it's not the fact that he's a new hire, you know, it's the fact that, so, it's uh, the fact that I have, so, here's the thing, <laughs> I even, I need to, I, I've needed time to process the, to process the information because I, I in my simpleton zoomer, my simpleton boomer brain cannot, just simply cannot. So we hired a new guy um, a couple months ago, and he's been he's been he's been okay. He's been doing okay. Lately, oh, we work with Scrum methodology, so we have what is called a daily meeting, and we have another we have a daily meeting meeting in the morning, and then we have another meeting uh, around midday. If you have any extra questions. Um, I mean, it's not exactly mandatory for you to be there. Like, if you have any other things to do, it's okay to, you know, call it in and not show up. That's understandable. But you do, you know, give a heads up to your boss saying, Hey, so today I don't have any questions and I'm dealing with this, this, and this. So I won't be able to show up. Is that okay? So this guy, <laughs> he stops um, appearing in those meetings. And I mean both the dailies and the afternoon meetings uh, which is kind of crazy and it's not the fact that um, he password to the lunar gate and meet us there okay we should go to the lunar gate it's not the fact that he's missing the meetings he's <laughs> the fact it's the fact that he's missing the meetings and not saying anyone anything He's not just not giving anyone a heads up. Like, we don't know what you're doing if you don't tell us during the day. And if you don't go to the daily meetings. And you, so, uh, we noticed that and we started kind of keeping, you know, noting down, jotting down when he, he appears and doesn't appear in the meetings. And the last few months has been, you know, crazy. He just doesn't show up and doesn't say why. So... We don't want to create fuss um, right off the gate. We want to give people, uh, you know, a fair shake. So we talk to him and say, "Hey, so we noticed you've been missing out on a lot of the, a lot of the meetings, and you don't give us, um, you don't give us an heads up. So what's up with that? What's going on? Are there is there anything going on? Do you want to talk to us?" It's like, "Oh no, my bad. I just, you know, I thought." You know, my bad, my bad. Just still not saying why he's not going to the meetings. And we said, okay, fine, just make sure it doesn't happen again. If if you do have to miss any of the meetings, just, you know, let us know why, at least. <laughs> so we know, you know, if we can count on you or not. Uh, he straightens up. A couple of days go by. A couple of weeks go by, actually. And the same thing starts to happen again. Well, now my boss is getting a little bit, you know, fed up with the situation. Uh, and he messages him again because, you know, he's not one wanna to create, you know, send you off just because of that. So he messages, mes messages him again and says, you know, we've talked about this, what's going on. Why aren't you going to going up to the meetings? Go oh, nice. <laughs> so this is the open world part. Uh, and the guy just says sorry again, doesn't say why, and he says okay. So we're not gonna force an excuse or something out of you. We're not gonna force you to justify yourself. If you don't want to say why, fine, don't say it. But he just said, you know what? I'm just just letting you know that. If a situation like this happens again, I'm just going to notify HR and you're probably going to be, you know, let go at this point. Which, I mean, if you ask me, I think it's only fair that my boss takes that decision. And guess what he does this week? <laughs> Dude, again, doesn't show up to the meetings. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So now it's uh, he just, you know, boss called me and said, hey, so, 
We have this going on. It would be. I kind of need you back here because I don't trust him to do some work. So, and I said, fine. I totally understand. Don't worry about it. I'll jump in. And I'll be back, you know. I'll be on my vacation probably next week. And yeah. He, it's it's weird because he didn't have that habit at the beginning of his tenure here it's, it's just something that started happening and we still don't know why that's the case why you can put it yeah that's that's and it's not like you know what's the crazy part it's a daily meeting it's something that it is over in what 10 15 minutes you just have to say what you did yesterday and what you're gonna do for the rest of the day. It's something really, really, you know, it's not that big of an issue. And it's not even the fact that he's not going to those meetings. It's the fact that you're not saying what you're doing while you're missing the meetings, you know? <laughs> you, you don't even excuse yourself. You don't even say, hey, so heads up, um, can't be at the meeting because I have another meeting or whatever. It's just... It just doesn't show, don't show up and don't say anything. It's just a simple heads up. That's all what my boss was asking. Yo, Pojo, good to see you. How's it going? Thanks for the good luck. Happy Tuesday. And I'm getting so many meltdowns. Look at this. Yeah, that's, that's make him makes him look sus and unreliable. I mean, lu lucky for us, it's just a, a meeting with a team, because imagine we send them off to a client and he does something like that. That would make us look really bad. So yeah, that's the main reason why. And again, he, my boss did feel a little bit bad, like, hey, so sorry. You know, I don't like to bother people when they're on vacation, but, you know, this is kind of a different situation. <laughs> and I, I totally understand. I said, it's fine, you know. I, I get it. <laughs> yeah, he could have waited for another week, couldn't he? Maybe that's what he's doing now you mention it. Maybe he's just playing Rebirth during working hours. perfectly reasonable excuse yeah he just can't he's enjoying the game so much he can't pit he can't put the controller down for two seconds and message someone to say hey you know what i can't be at that meeting that lasts 10 minutes <laughs> it's not there we go <laughs> i missed zensuken <laughs> I'm gonna miss the mating, Sephiroth won't wait. And then my boss will just reply with the memes like, this. Did, did Sephiroth do this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, way ahead of you, Pojo. I'm getting good at this, this joke thing. <laughs> Oh wait, he has the Dara Junction. Yeah, I'm on point. You know, I'm back with the... I'm back with the vengeance, per se. Vengeance on jokes. <laughs> it's my rebirth. 
<laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> uh, so... Wait. Is this... So that's another part of Vestar, is it? Or is it the same place? This didn't look like the same place where I came in. So this is the city's exit, so... It is the same place, okay. So, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh... I still wanted to check. Okay, we can do Iron Giants. Need three more though. Anyway, I just thought it was funny. And I... Um, I also had to... Um, I had to go ahead and go represent the company. Monday afternoon, that's why I was away from the completely away from the PC and that's that's one thing that I sometimes don't enjoy to doing but you know some they need someone and I had to <laughs> but I was surprised with how how little I mean this is gonna sound absolute boomerish <laughs> there he goes and Zenzuken again this is gonna sound like the absolute boomer but we were it was a company thing to recruit uh, summer internships so we were at a uh, at a college to find summer intern people that are interested in summer internships um, and I was you know I was a little taken aback to how things have changed <laughs> I mean it's crazy so, you guys can hear me out and say that if you think I'm being crazy or not but so the internship we're offering is a two it's two months it's a two month paid by the way it's a two month paid internship curricular paid internship which most uh, curricular internships aren't paid with uh, the flexible hours so you don't have a, a, you don't have a schedule per se you make I mean you need to work for eight hours but you kind of can distribute the hours um, and you work with department heads and you you have a team assembled blah 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 and all the responses I got to that I mean most of the responses were crazy were like hey so um, I know it's I know it's a summer internship so I kind of don't want to work during August because you know we're on vacation is there any chance that I can you know join in and then postpone for two weeks and join back <laughs> and I mean, what do you say to that? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. A, a lot of people, a lot of the new people just said that. Just said, hey, you know, you're, you're, the, the, the common thing was, hey, it's just, it's a cool internship. It's a paid one, which is great. And would help me pay for stuff because, you know, I need the money. So, is there any chance that I can kind of not show up for two weeks and then, you know, finish up the, the internship? And they are surprised when I say no. <laughs> you know, we do... I said... I, I, I mean... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm stunned. But I say, you know, we do... We do allow you to take some time off if you have any exams during that period so school is most important in our you know in our opinion so if you have an exam if you have a final exam if you have you know 
work to get delivered we do you know in extenuous situations like that we're like okay fine you can take off a week two weeks you know go study for your exams then you come back and you know we could focus on the internship i think that's only fair because it's it's two months it's not gonna it's and it's an honestly it's an internship just to give you a vibe or of how you are it, working it's to give you work experience um <laughs> uh, and it's crazy that yeah it sounds privileged because he, it is and i started talking to um if you have to take a seat exam exactly <laughs> i started talking to the other um to the hr person that was there and she starts uh talking to me like you know what maybe our internship is too hard on on kids nowadays maybe we should adapt it and i'm i'm looking at her like are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, I, I would say, you know, you know, I, I, I was signed, you know, I started the company I'm at. I've been there for almost, what, nine years now. And I started as an intern and I had, <laughs> you know, that's the thing that baffles me. I didn't have any any of these um, bonuses that they get it wasn't a, a paid internship it was an, a, a six or four to six months internship not two months it was four to six <laughs> um, it's I had to bring my own PC they didn't pay for tra transport or anything and I was still, I, I was just happy that I got the internship. Uh, so happy indeed. And so I tried, I worked my ass off. That's why I got the job. I mean, I, I, two, two months in, they asked me to, you know, started working there because I was like, they liked my, they, they liked my working ethic and blah, blah, blah. Because I was trying hard to get the job. I wanted to impress. I wanted, I wanted the job. <laughs> Because that's where people who just finish um, college, I was thinking, you know, I don't have the luxury to, uh, I did a mistake here. I don't have the luxury here to be, you know, not having a job. I kind of, I need to grab this opportunity and get, exactly, food at the door is priceless. As soon, if, if I'm in there, I'm doing my best, so I, I, I want to stay there. And to the point that two months in, they asked me to stay, and then they they actually gave me a they called it a a payment, but they couldn't actually legally call call it a payment because they weren't allowed to pay for curricular internships. I was finishing my degree at the time. Uh, but they said, hey, you know what? We don't want you to go anywhere else because we like your work. So we want to pay you this um, X amount, <laughs> which will... Uh, basically, they paid. They were paying me $100 per month, so an extra 100 So they wanted to pay me $700 for me to finish the internship and to sign a contract to stay there. And as soon as I heard the, oh, we want you to sign a contract to stay here and work, and I was like... I mean, forget the 700 bucks. That's, they are great. That's most money I've seen <laughs> from other than, you know, me selling something or my, you know, me joining <laughs> each month and saving up each month. So, yeah, just give me the job. I'm, I'm totally happy with it. <laughs> but I'll take the extra bonus. <laughs> it was crazy. And... It blew my mind that they actually, you know, paid me to all intents and purposes under the table just as an extra, an extra incentive for me to get there. <laughs> and it blows my mind that these, these dudes nowadays are like, yeah, two months, too long, don't want to do it. <laughs> um, can I take a vacation in the middle? Uh, <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here, dude? <laughs> then you can't... 
then that's the thing you can't really complain yeah they're just asking for too much and you can't really complain if you then don't get a job because you know you had the opportunity you had you could have shown shown how good you are and and yet I mean to a to a point showing making feel making the company feel like they need you is a good idea I don't I'm not disputing that I think that's a great idea but there's here's the thing you need to have experience first this is a first job this is this isn't even a job per se you know <laughs> this is to do, do you have any I, I'm not explaining it really right I mean this internship gives you access to people like me like I'm one of the department heads and I will work closely with you to you know share my knowledge and help you with things you want to learn you have paid courses in anything that you need you have uh, classes on soft skills that we offer it's cr the amount of knowledge you can gather in two months it's crazy yo deluge how's it going good to see ya and yet the, the replies are you know what two months is too long i want to take a vacation <laughs> it blows my mind that there that's their decision I would li I would spend money. I would pay for opportunities like this to have people that know that have been working in the field that I want to work in for five plus years to be you know talking to me like I'm an equal and explaining the job to me and helping me, teaching me, <laughs> and yet ah no way. It's, you know. <laughs> but maybe that's me being a boomer. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's... Maybe I'm the, uh... I'm the issue here. Maybe I'm thinking things wrong or doing things wrong. I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for the five stream streak, dude. I really appreciate those. How's it going, by the way? How's your Tuesday, man? It is good to see you. Sorry about the rant, but I know I had to say it because I really had to. <laughs> I had to get it off my chest. They're not they're not really thinking of how helpful it would be for them. Wait until they graduate and realize it, how the world works. with the gifted sub to Deluge for the full year. Look at that. And Drace, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome in, dude. Starting a hype train? Thank you so much, fellas. That's absolutely insane. Thank you, dude. <laughs> All the hype in here. Thank you so much for the bits. Deluge for the schnip schnop bits. And yet, thank you so much for the 77 bits as well. Everything stocked up, let's go. Look at that, starting a hype trade. Dude, thank you so much, I was not expecting that. I was just, you know, angry at the new generation. <laughs> Parkour. Too early. I'll oh, still come. The right to be irritated when you think how we certainly weren't banned. Like, yeah, and the, the thing that you said about, you know, preparing for how the world works, 
You know what's crazy? You know what gives you a great, you know, preparation for how the work world works? An internship. <laughs> An unpaid internship is bad, okay? I know, I realize how kind of, you know, bad that can be for you. Especially if they, they abuse you a little bit. Because that's a situation that was before. But there's a middle ground. There's a ground where... You know, you earn your stripes, you work uh, without pay for a couple months, and then people realize, you know what, he's been working hard, and, you know, we want him here, because he knows his stuff. This, this dude really wants to work here. <laughs> that's the thing. I still think that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but that's the problem, Zach. That's that's how I feel like I sound like is me saying, you know, previous generations, previous gen previous generations the best. The new one sucks. want to be better for the younger generation there was a... yeah exactly exactly that's what i'm saying I, I fully understand that some of the things need to change i fully understand it i know the model that we had wasn't perfect but i mean come on I'm going to be honest here unpaid internship just sounds like a scam to me you should be pay being paid for any work you're doing i absolutely agree here it is bro i absolutely agree with you I 100% agree with you, and here's here's the tricky bit, where I'm gonna slightly maybe disagree with you. I think if it is a curricular internship, if you're finishing up a degree and you get uh, you ha you need an internship to finish up a degree, I don't think you should be you know paid for it. I mean, it is or here's my final thing. I think you should get paid if you get results. You, you get paid like a bonus, an incentive to actually, you know, be good at that curricular... At the, I, I, I cannot stress this enough. Curricular internship. If you're doing an internship like a professional internship, uh, those uh, should automatically be paid. And that, that I fully agree. I don't think there should be a, they should be allowed to have professional internships that aren't paid. I don't think that should be a thing. That I completely agree on. But if I'm talking, if we're talking like what I'm talking about, which is curriculum, curricular internships, yeah, then the case changes for me. I think, I really think that they should, um, Wait, let me focus here a little bit. Kurag is stopped. Everything is stopped. Really? Nice. Um, I really think that they should... You know, if you're doing a curricular one, a bonus at the end is more than fine. But professional one? Yeah, 100% it should be paid. I'm used to internships being more or less jobs with companies. That, that's also, also another thing. Um... I don't think an internship should be, you know. Here's how I see internships. So I can give you a full perspective on what we do with internships, at least when I get interns. You should get tasks that are related with our work, but not that they cannot affect clients directly, if that makes any sense. We want to give you a sense of responsibility to see if you can handle it. <laughs> But I don't want to put too much stress on you because I know that I can't pay you as much as you deserve to do that job. Yo, yeah, thank you so much for the gift. It's up to Brom for the five months. Like, for example, I'm not going to make you program something, a full, you know, feature that takes a lot of months uh, in, that takes a year maybe, and I know, I'm not gonna ask you to do it in two months. In two months, here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. I'm gonna tailor make uh, um, a project for you that gives you some sense of responsibility, and I wanna see how you are working 
with a team like if you don't know something do you search people for help do you are you more you know one of those guys that just goes to google and tries to figure it out or do you like to search internally or um do you need someone to be with you at all times or are you one of those guys that likes to work alone more than they like to work you know what i mean i want to understand your type of teamwork how is your team because communication uh when it when it comes to our type of job is very important so that's the thing and uh for me if you in two months you show me that you're a good guy that that gets along with pretty mo uh, almost everyone i'm not gonna say everyone because there's always someone that you know you're not gonna get along with everyone let's face the facts there's always someone that doesn't like you or you don't like them that's the workplace <laughs> but you you you've shown that you're fine with it and you can roll with it and you can work on it and you search for people for answers even when you don't know them you're always communicating you're excited to be here i mean i agree at the end of the two months you should get rec uh compensation and i will ask you to join that's it Th that's that's exactly my view on internships is this communication you speak of <laughs> throw yourself on the ground and cry i've seen that happen a lot actually for the degree they should be learning how to do x job the internship should be experience on how to use x skill isn't that the only point of it yeah that's what i'm saying i agree bro i'm not i don't want you to solve for me i would value here's the thing i would value a lot more an intern that comes to me and says you know what i just can't do this i'm not understanding the task can you please help me and explain it to me and uh then one that just you know steals someone else's uh work to solve it and then says hey you know i did it and then i ask a question and he can't explain it to me because he didn't understand it you know i'm putting you as an intern to see how you work in a team because then we're gonna need your help you're part of the team you're part of the people that are gonna figure things out you know <laughs> So yeah, I want you to learn how to do the job and that's why you're working with people that have done it and are going to teach you how to do it. I always say, and when I'm looking for people to work on my team, it's not about the technical skills. You will learn the technical skills by working with other people on the team. I'm more interested in your personality and how you are to work with. And I think more, uh, more and more these days, um we're gonna look to for people like that we're gonna look more personality wise than technical aspects because if you're if you're one of those curious dudes you're gonna look for the answer anyway i don't know maybe you're, i'm just talking absolute bs <laughs> And you're fine to disagree with. It's just the way I think teams should work. It's just my way of seeing it. I have absolutely no clue where I should be going. Uh, this place is massive. Nope. <laughs> I'm not running in circles on purpose. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna... You know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. Nice. I got ammo RF, so we... I mean, it's still good that we get some experience and we get some new abilities and stuff. That's dope. Here's what I'm gonna do now, though. Uh, who has... The encounter half. Encounter half. And... Now I should look around a little bit to try and figure out where I should be going. 
Uh, let me catch up on chat, though. Yeah, you do remember getting stuck here for quite a while? Okay, I don't feel as bad. I've been trying to change departments for a while now, but I never got an internship as an undergraduate because I didn't know then what I'd be interested in now. So I'm trying to play catch up. I see positions open up, get taken by former interns, and then the job is open again later, a year later. That's um, that's one of the things that um, I'm working on my letters of interest to indicate how serious I am in learning something new. That's one of the things that I'm grateful that the company I work for allows me, you know, allows me to change laterally inside the company. Um, I started as an intern for front-end development and I was almost out the door because as soon as I got there, <laughs> they liked my work, but they kind of put me in a project that had that was pretty much dead. <laughs> So I was being underused, to say the least, and um, I just, you know, I fought for my place. I talked to a couple people, and they said, you know what? Here, if you if you're not happy where you where you are or where your career is going, you can just talk to your boss and change teams. And I did, and I changed from front end to back end. And then I told them I wanted to get, you know, I wanted to work on the full stack you know i wanted to be a full stack guy not only development just you know i wanted to learn a little bit of everything i wanted to be one of those people they can rely on to do anything and i was i'm willing to go back and do the dirty work per se uh so yeah i did front end back end then i jumped to database analyst um project manager i worked on support for a while and now I'm doing quality assurance. So it's great that I can laterally move. And since I'm, I've proven that I can adapt quite quickly, they allow me to change easy, easy, in an easier way. Like that's that's one of the things that I love about the company. And I hope that you get that move, Zach. Um, and I hope that you can find a way to show them your interest. Because if you're a good worker, they should pick that up and say, yeah, if this guy wants to change. Maybe you should give him a shot and maybe he'll excel on that new field. So yeah, if you need any help, maybe I can help with the letters or something. Um, my door is always open. <laughs> Which is a very corporate thing to say. <laughs> Just I don't know the expressions in English. <laughs> Quick thing about cards, if you really want them, want all of them, you should look up two quests. Difficult to explain in chat. Two quests? What do you mean two quests? I'm trying to find my way here first. That looks like a place I should visit, though. Oh, wait, I was here. The guy said I should go east, right? Where's east? The lunar something. Whatever. The guy finally responded to me when I... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm not bothering with the drawing right now. <laughs> what about Weast? Weast! Um, yeah, I think the guy said something about the lunar, whatever. Thingamajig. Um, East is over there? Over where? So, never eat seaweed, that's it. So, east would be that way. So, here? That makes sense. Um, let me catch up. Some cards are hidden behind quest lines, card queen and that club, which means I miss... Which name I'm missing at the moment? Yeah, okay. So anything specific I should be doing that for those cards, quests? Maybe I should look those up. You are correct. That's where that's west. Ah. Nuts. <laughs> so never eat sea no, never eat seaweed. That's it. So that way? So this way? And I mean the yellow cone, not the Um the great. Never eat shredded wheat. West is left and east is right. Okay. 
There you go. We get Zanzukin. So we're going right. Thanks, Odin. <laughs> Appreciate it. Nicht on Sifa Vashen. Oh, that, that was... I, I'm absolutely sure that I just butchered all the directions in German. <laughs> it means don't wash without soap. <laughs> don't wash. Yeah, we don't have a, a phrase like that in Portuguese, but I remember seeing someone play a game and saying never eat seaweed and that kind of stuck with me. Who's washing without soap? Not the Germans, apparently. <laughs> oh, I saw something saying that um, in Germany it's forbidden to keep your put your car running if you're not like driving like if you turn your car on to warm up a little bit that's against the law apparently is that true okay i'm just going around in circles now aren't i yeah i saw someone say that uh if you kind of enter your car and start it up just to warm it up a little bit but you're not driving that's kind of against the law or something and I thought, ah, this is the internet, so it might be, you know, fake news, so when I find a German, I'll ask. <laughs> In Australia, I remember using never eat soggy wheat mix. <laughs> soggy wheat mix. Yeah, Deluge can... can uh... I also read that it's illegal to use your uh, your horn, your car horn, if, if it's not like... Uh... An emergency situation. Yeah, times three this little thing. Wait, that must be it. That must be the lunar thing. That would make much sense. Or maybe it's that thing. There's a lot of things. Oh no, honky fear, whatever. <laughs> Fair point. But Zach does bring in a, a good question. What if the person believes it's an emergency? That's correct. What if the girl that you just seen outside of your window, it's really that attractive and you need to honk your horns for her to notice you? That can be considered an emergency. I think it depends. It might be internals or garages, but in general, I've never heard but I'm actually not owning a car. Okay. Okay. Myth debunked. Wait. I know this place. I've been here before. Could be my future wife. Exactly. That's my point. That big hunk of rock that was here. I miss it now that it's gone. It's so barren now. Interesting. I always remember North Eorth Sorth Worth. <laughs> Walking in the tunnel deserves a beating. Uh, would you be mad if I told you that uh, here in Portugal everyone honks internals in tunnels because you know tradition? <laughs> There's a couple of tunnels when everyone has to honk. It's part of you know tradition. Just for fun, yeah. It's difficult to clarify what it, that if there was an emergency, but as long as you don't continuously honk your horn, you'll be fine. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, there's this uh, tunnel which is very famous in me in my town actually, and everyone that is that goes, you know, that crosses it, they have to, they absolutely have to, you have to honk your horn if if you're from the the city. 
know, if you want if you want people to take you seriously, you need to honk your horn. <laughs> you can be mad too loud. <laughs> I mean, I know it's stupid, but still. A lot of our traditions can be stupid. The series off limits? Great. Do you play cards? So I found new places, but we can't really do something with them. I think I saw something over here. Yeah, I saw that there. Maybe that's it. Our ambulances have different modes for day and night. The night mode has the volume turned down. Really? That's crazy, dude. I didn't know that. Ooh, another thing that we learned. Nice. Uh, we don't have any of that. We hear the... the noises. Let's do the mag bonus. Yeah, that being a thing a thing in bigger cities is kind of crazy, isn't it? If you're turning up the music after 10 p.m., your neighbors will call the police. Yeah, that's a, uh, a law here as well. You can't make excessive noise after 10 p.m. But I don't think anyone would call the police, per se. Unless you're really, you know, bringing in the noise. <laughs> Let me say it, because that looked like the place we had to be at. Great planes of Astar. Everyone else feel their heart rate spike when they see lit up piloted sirens in the rearview mirror? Oh, always. <laughs> always. <laughs> Trying to think of a silly tra British tradition, the first one that springs to mind is that if someone smashes smashes a glass or plate in a bar or restaurant, people generally go, way and cheer it. Same here. <laughs> Same here. We just don't say, way, we say, oh, and start to clap. <laughs> and also we have a saying in portugal that if you're it's not really a saying but it's like a, a custom a tradition or a weird vibe is if there is a a party if if there, if there is a celebration whatever you have to spill something or break something like something has to you know happen like that you have to either spill a glass or break a glass because it means that um then it means that the bad thing has happened and nothing really bad will happen some sort some crazy thing like that because usually when that doesn't happen by accident something you know worse will happen it's kind of a crazy superstition but It is what it is. We're, we're weird people. <laughs> and if you spill something or if you break something, that's why we celebrate a little bit. And you hear the cel the great phrase like, now, now that's now's a party. <laughs> <laughs> We've been expecting you. This way, please. Go to the Lunar Gate. Yo, Nox, how's the going? Good to see ya. <laughs> we need words about this weekend? No, I don't think we need <laughs> any words about this weekend. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I'll take care of her, Noah. How's it going, by the way? Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. It's good to see you, Nox. Kind of reminds me of it's bad luck to wish good luck and vice versa. Yeah, it's... Um, you how oh, The break a leg thing is a thing here... It's considered uh, wishing bad luck if you uh, say happy birthday before the birthday date. 
we have some silly traditions. <laughs> yeah, with the gifted sub to Nox for the seven months. Thank you so much, yet. Enjoy those emotes. Enjoy the solid pomp, as always. Lead the way, please. Look at Angelo being your good doggo. Are you the one taking off? Yes. Okay, this way. About the weekend, though, ah, uh, what a game, wasn't it? <laughs> a bit, uh, I would say, a bit cruel on Forest. I'm fully aware of it. But, uh, you know, that's the, I'm, that's the stuff of champions. <laughs> that's the thing. You kind of start to wonder, you know, you know, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe there's, 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 being riddled with injuries and winning this way, finding a way on the 97th minute. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's a maybe. There's always a maybe. <laughs> Gotta go meet the family for dinner. Thanks for stream. Thank you guys. Oh, enjoy the enjoy the the dinner, Yeti. Enjoy the family. It's good to see you. Thanks so much for the support as well. I really, really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. And have a great one, of course. <laughs> Nunez is the, the Riki regen. I was, I had, I'm gonna confess something here to Nox. I had a fiver on Origi scoring against Liverpool because I thought, you know, X tax, it's definitely gonna happen. But uh, yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah, he had a good, he had a good shot. Uh, it was wide, but it was powerful. I, you know, I almost, almost um, won some money, but I didn't though. Sorry. <laughs> distance, distance wise is pretty far, but you'll be there in no time. You'll be there in, in time to wake up. Where are we going? Let me give, give you a quick explanation about the whole process. First, we need you to enter the capsule inside this pipe. Here, you'll undergo the cold sleep process. Once this process is complete, your capsule will automatically be loaded into the booster. After that, we launch. You should be there by the time you wake up. Leave the rest to the staff once you get there. Well, that's about it in a nutshell. I won't say there is any risk involved. What do you want to do? Do whatever it takes. Let's do it. Okay, you need to decide who you're taking. The girl in blue has already undergone, co undergone cold sleep and has been loaded in. There's room for more and more. In the meantime, something something must be done to suppress my powers. But it'll be too dangerous for Major to be alone. Then let me be your escort. Come on, Squall, what do you say? Hmm. We'll trust Zell. Okay. I'll leave it in Zell's hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I looked it up. It is actually a law to keep your engine to keep the engine running when you're not operating the car because of unnecessary noise and pollution. See, there you go. So it was true. <laughs> We're going to space. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes to watch over you. Don't worry about a thing. Squall, don't worry about us. Matron is a sorceress. Don't forget that. Okay, let me decide who's going. So I can't pick either Zell or Adia. Uh, this is gonna be terrible for the junctions, isn't it? Should I pick Quistus or Irvine? I'll pick Quistus. And I'll exchange what Adia has to Renoa. And then Zell to Questus. Is this your party? Yes. Okay then, those who are going, get in. Eighty euro fine. That's kind of steep. The Brits have ha the Brits has way too many many things that tax on really do tell <laughs> it's 
go into the tube. They tax bowel movements. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, capsules are in place. Conditions inside the capsules are normal. Boosters on standby. All systems normal. Launch error correction. Plus two. Orbital correction. Minus one. Corrections complete. Go. I'm surprised we don't tax tax. <laughs> Wait, I have I have an idea. What about if we tax the tax of the tax? Oh. <laughs> clear, clear, clear. Is this just a giant revolver? <laughs> Yo, Psyfake, how's it going? <laughs> it is good to see ya. They have wallpaper and window text. What do you mean wallpaper and window text? How does that work? Anyone remember Samurai Pizza Cat? I don't know what that is. I do, I've do. i seen though, bro, if you're from the UK. I don't know if you are, but I've heard that the price for electricity there is absolutely insane lately. I hope everything goes well. They'll be fine. I think they're in good hands. Let's pray for their safe return. Okay, shall we go? Oh, you're Australian, yeah, right. My bad. <laughs> My bad. What the? I just removed the junctions. I hope I'm not getting, you know... Hope I don't get... Yikes. Here. It's stupid expensive right now. I paid 260 pounds a month for gas and electric 260 okay that's kind of on the pricey side it's crazy samurai pizza cats was a tv show where the team was shot to action to save the city with a giant cannon as well ah, never seen it so many small businesses have closed because of COVID and energy to build double whammy and afford to operate. I can see that happening very easily. I mean, I've seen businesses, I've seen that happen to businesses here and the prices haven't gone up too much. I mean, it, they have gone up, but not, you know, by those margins. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's humongous. Say, wasn't the city in that direction? Uh-oh. Dr. Odine must be in trouble. Sal, we'd better head for the city at once. Dr. Odine might might know what's going on. Alright, who's coming with us? So we'll use Irvine. So I guess I should change the junctions again. We'll give Do this. Twist this to Zell and Renoa to Idea. Auto magic, auto attack, auto attack. Did the magic change? Okay, so now the magic did exchange. That's crazy. I don't know why this uh, exchanging thing has been so crazy. I'll save on a new block. Not just utilities though, it's everything. My mortgage has gone up. It's going up about 200 pounds a month. My home insurance renewal quote was 2.5 times more than last year. Everything's just crazy. Yeah, um, mortgages, rent prices, everything is going up here. It's, uh, yeah, it's not looking good. Evidently, it's not looking good. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's crazy. I've seen some crazy things. Not gonna lie. Whenever I replay this game, I just use six junction sets. Makes it teeny, a teeny bit harder anyway. How does that work? I like that we can use Zell now. <laughs> 
And now we need to go back to town. Great. Look, we got we got Odin again. Paying a mortgage is cheaper than renting in Australia? Really? Interesting. Have we gone full circle now that mortgages are cheaper than renting? Renting. <laughs> you know, I was thinking that that will be happening in the future, but maybe the future is now. <laughs> I think here renting is still cheaper, but not for long with the prices I've seen. What is this encounter rate? I have encounter rate by half turned on and I still get one encounter each three steps. What is going on here? Okay, where's the city? I can't see. That's that way. Yeah, renting is a money pit. You are correct. It's crazy. It's crazy. But that's your only, sometimes that's kind of your only option if, you know, the price of the houses are insane. <laughs> it's just a situation where I don't see what to do to solve it. With insurance and mortgage costs, landlords need to up the rent co costs to cover themselves. Yeah, fair enough. I can see arguments from both sides, if I'm honest with you. I've seen pure greed though, I've seen people just upping their rent because, you know, housing prices have gone up, so let's do the same. I've known people who spend over 100k on renting alone and I feel for them, that's home money. 100k is definitely home money. That's almost buying, I mean you can buy actually, you uh, can buy a place with that amount of money. If it was... 10 or 12 years ago, you could have bought like a really, really decent place with 100k. <laughs> I skipped the renting phase of, my, of life. My mother let me stay until I was 27, paid 200 per fortnight, but I have to save for the house to remain. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm glad you didn't spend any money on renting. That's just exactly a money pit. Just pre pretend the GFs are locked to the first character and I put them on. Don't bother moving the GFs and move magic around. Ah, oh, fair enough. That's a good way to take it. Good thinking, Sai. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Get the draw point. Okay, great. Uh, presidential place. It's not just house prices that cause the issue is a big here a big factories people don't have a deposit to buy a house yeah exactly it's just a i don't know what to say honestly i don't know enough about life to be judging or giving advice or telling you what to do or not to do i don't know i just don't know i'm as confused as anyone else that, that's all uh, that's all i'm saying I would like to buy my own place. I, it's something that I really want to do someday. But honestly, if you ask me, I don't see it as a... Why didn't I go to the presidential place? Oh, there's 209's laboratory. It was there. I'm, I'm an idiot. He must be in his lab. Most likely. Yeah, the, the thing is, uh, Syphic, I've had a couple of issues when I did the junction, um, junction switches for some reason. It, it didn't switch correctly and messed up all my junctions and I forget which character had which GF. My seed level has gone down, I noticed that. My mother needed me to move out before I could buy. I would have just got a camper van. I would have been able. I would have been able to afford it. Yeah, fair enough. I've seen more and more people going for the camper van solution. I mean, it's a temporary solution that seems perfectly viable. It's not a bad idea. 
And yeah, it's not a bad solution at all. I think it's a perfectly valid idea. Okay, so I have to go straight to the laboratory. Most likely. Go towards the inner skyway. Do I say there's a growing trend of people buying building tiny homes? Um, I don't know if that that's such a good idea, to be honest. But what do I know? Again, just uh, one more confused soul in this place. Um, Octorodyne is in the lab, okay, great. So I was here, I just didn't talk to the dude. I'm here to see the doctor, yes I am. Octorodyne is in a good mood right now. He hasn't been this cheerful in quite a while. Okay, then get out of the way. My dad's car, uh, and my dad's car lot of at least okay. I can't read today. What's going on? At my dad's car lot, I worked at least uh, uh, the last couple years. We have been selling vans about one every 50 days that somebody told us they plan to live in it. Yeah, I can definitely again, I can definitely see people doing that because it's a valid um, way of living. A yeah, valid way to make to solve your issue for a, for a little while. I recently saw a story about a guy who bought one of these trains, train tickets where you can go indefinitely by train. He used to live in these trains. It's four thousand five hundred fifty euros per year, if I remember correctly. That's still a lot of money. But yeah, <laughs> that's a solution, I guess. I've seen crazy, crazy, crazy solutions. Not gonna lie, I see people. Camping, just straight up camping, renting, like camping in places where you can camp for like a maximum of three months and then go to another campsite and then another, you know, just camping outside. I've seen a lot of creative solutions that they had to take to make things work. Why why is Lunatic Pandora here now? Who who is moving that thing? <laughs> Galbadian, sir. They're the ones that salvaged it. We must sound the alert in the city now. It will not attack us. The city is not the target. I hope so. I hope you're right. But Tears Point. Huh. So, we meet again. This is exciting. Is he Zerman? I don't know. We, there's a Z there, so I was assuming. <laughs> he was what's so exciting about this this and that Galbadia and all it's been a long time since I last saw Lunatic Pandora the Lunatic whatever that big thing what the hell is that what the hell is it is going on oh you want to hear my story that is nice <laughs> I would be happy to tell you I've been investigating Pandora, the Pandora since it was excavated so we serviced it and investigated. I don't care about that. What do you want? <laughs> What's gonna happen? What do we do? That is what I'm about to... The enemy's coming, right? And there's no time. We'll do something about it. Just tell us what to do. Make it short. Short, eh? Are you sure about that? That is too bad. Yes, this could be very bad. You want to go look to go inside to stop it? Then look at this. Look at this. Brother, that is not a cool call. <laughs> that looks so much like a German accent. It does. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe a little bit of a German going on. 
It looks like he's wearing one of those parachutes you your class played with in school. This is a map of the Astar region. <laughs> Lunatic Pandora's current location is here. Location is here. Lunatic Pandora's expected course will undoubtedly pass over the city. Zoom in map. The city has one outer skyway and two main inner skyways, all leading to the palace. Lunatic Pandora will, e will head east from the vicinity of this lab toward the shopping mall. The time it will take to cross the city is an estimated to be 20 minutes. Boarding the Lunatic Pandora is possible at the following three contact points. first contact point is at the center of the city. It will arrive there 5 to 8 minutes after it enters the city. This is equivalent to 15 to 20, 12 minutes left on your timer. The second contact point is unknown. We believe it, it is where the two skyways cross. Lunatic Pandora will arrive there 10 to 15 minutes after it enters the city. That is equivalent to 10 to 5 minutes are left on your timer. I see where this is going. The third contact point is the north of the shopping mall. It will arrive there 17 minutes after it enters the city. That is equivalent to 3 to 0 left on your timer. Great. Solid has to remember the new layout. The layout of the whole city. We're in for a treat. Yep, this is... I'm gonna... I'm gonna fail at this miserably. I can sense it. That is how it goes. I'll give you this. Look at it with square. The problem is... Alright, alright. We gotta get going. I want to talk some more. Okay, then talk. The culprit is not Galvaria. Okay, that's all I want to say. What do you want? Center of the city, 15 to 20 minutes, okay. The first contact point is the center of the city. How well do I know Esther? I do not know Esther. And I'm terrible with directions, so... I guarantee you I'm gonna mess this up. Yo, Sefri, how's it going? Good to see ya. So this thing doesn't work, which would make things easy. Uh, sending for the center. I don't think people want to play cards. Uh, wait, isn't it here? Playing Crisis Core, still waiting for my copy. Nice. That's good, though. Wait, wasn't the um, the first place here? Oh wait, there's an image there. I'm an idiot. <laughs> time C does it affect the timer? Oh, I guess you're right. It doesn't. Or does it? I feel like it's going great. Apart from this little tiny place, which I'm sure that I'm going to mess up. Wait, I don't get it. Is that the image of the place or is that... Is that the image where I'm supposed to be or... Is that just where it is? Yo, Snipes, how's it going? How did, we, how did you miss that we're going live? I don't know, dude image where I should be okay so here no it says right side but I thought it was there I thought it was near the it said city center didn't it said city center next to the next to the ah uh... oh, great next to the uh To the shop. Uh, 
I have no idea where it is. I have absolutely no clue where it is. So this will be the second point. I don't get it. How did I get Zen to? I think I get Odin three times for the timer on. The, ga the game just likes to troll you, doesn't it? This game just loves to troll you. Can't even drop your ragas. Oh wait, this looks like it. that's it. Odin has a 12.75% chance if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's definitely not true. I still haven't seen a, a place that looks like exactly like the picture. I was sure he said that was next to the uh, to the store that's why I went straight to the store I thought it would be there yeah I thought it would be here I'm confused. This is clearly not the place. Uh, it's crazy that we have... Astar is in a wonderful place? No, he isn't. Why does it keep showing up this way? Uh, uh, it's okay, it's near the first contact point and I think I've ran all across the map at this point and of course look I got Odin uh, Nah, that's the, there's gotta be something going on here. I got Odin four times uh, That's crazy that can't be a 12 percent yeah that i thought it was here it said it was next to the shopping mall so that's the only place that makes sense it's here then i would say it is here but it can't be because it's the red thing and that then i mean the background looks similar but it's obviously not here because of the red herring in the bottom. I know there are multiple contact points, but that still doesn't make it right. <laughs> here comes Odin again. Okay, maybe not. I think everything in this game is confusing. <laughs> Wait, I think I found it. <laughs> We're supposed to get on this thing? Okay, we found it. I don't know why it is here. I don't. It doesn't look like the image. <laughs> oh my god! I don't even get. Yeah, twelve point seventy-five percent. No, I don't think so. I disagree. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind having Jordan. Not at all. It's free AP and free XP. Now's our chance. 
Nah, during this section, they gotta amp up the numbers. Meteor? Hello. What is this music? That was me here. This is what? Ultima? Kuraga? Well, I could actually... No, actually, I couldn't. Do I have any free... Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. We need to do some exchanges here. We need to have free slots, otherwise we're gonna regret it. Uh, where's Selfie? Get all and now from you so, ooh, you actually have all the good stuff oh you have a free slot already so no, no matter doesn't matter doesn't matter several would be proud of you would indeed do you want to know something interesting once you're done with this place? Uh, once I'm done with it? Sure. Why not? There's a uh, number of doors. We'll check door number one, of course. My guy, you follows. This looks weird. Holy. Nice. Save point. Now that I have a save point, and I know how save points work, I'm gonna remove encounter half. Also, all these abilities, and I only have three abilities here, I really should check out my... <laughs> I really should change my junctions. They are really, really bad. I'm losing out here. <laughs> we'll go right first. Is this a ladder? I got back attacked. Did I? Ch I forgot to check my GFs, didn't I? Yeah. Level max plus forty. Oh, almost learning mag bonus. That's the good stuff. I go pee. You go pee, Snipes. You go pee. Go ahead and pee, sir. By the way, how are you enjoying Rebirth? I know I haven't asked you yet. So this leads to nowhere? Great. <laughs> of course, and I asked when he went to pee. That's smart. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> this is the best decision ever. Okay, what? Oh, my controller died. Great timing for my controller to die, actually. Making me feel powerless. <laughs> the hell is that? Oh, okay, wait. 
the hell is that? Well, no time to be pondering. Let's do it. My body, I can't move. And we are dead, most likely? Question mark? Damn it. Kills me to let him go. Welcome back. I was asking what are your thoughts on Rebirth? I know you've been playing it. I haven't played it yet, so no spoilers, please and thank you. I have been ejected, apparently. I don't know how this works. Do, 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 do. Pretty damn good. That seems to be the general consensus so far. Guess we better fall back for now. The Lunar Cry. Let's head back. I've been in Lunatic Pandora before. Have I now? Wait, did I just get ejected and that's it? Why is this song playing with this cutscene? Is the game broken? Three capsules are approaching. Shall we recover them? Of course, what do you expect? Are these the special personnel coming abroad? aboard? Yeah, I hope they don't cause any problems. So we put troops on standby? I have a feeling we don't won't need to. Then we'd better station them all the more. Capsule recovery team, initiate recovery process. Security, go to standby. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Why do you always play me like that? I'm gonna check up on Adele. Take care of the rest, will ya? Because space pretty. Yes, sir. <laughs> Laguna flashback where he throws the party into the sea. That's Lunatic Pandora. Yeah, that's the, the blue... Part of the place looked familiar. But I just thought it was reused, you know, sprites. The music doesn't fit here, though. <laughs> it feels like. One of those weird bugs in Final Fantasy VII where you play the wrong cutscene. What do you mean it fits perfectly? No, it doesn't. It has nothing to do with what's going on on the screen. Shake your head slowly from left to right and enjoy the tune. <laughs> Here. Initi initiating quick thaw. I'm just gonna feel a bit itchy. Also, the story, now that I think of it, just jump the shark, by the way. We're going into space and whatever. Lock on rotation ring unit. Lock and gauge, generating artificial gravity. Here's a letter of introduction from Mastar's ambassador. Wow, what is she? 17, 18? She dead? Don't touch her. I understand the situation. Let's carry her to the med lab and we'll talk there. Real talk is just a tool to try to try to tie this part of the plot to the main romance plot. Interesting. <laughs> no wonder people think Squall died anything after that is wacky. Yeah, great. That you are correct. Please follow me. <laughs> I 
let's uh, change the junctions though. Junction exchange. U to U. And U to U. And U to U. And we'll do a little save. Take her inside this room and have a rest. Have her have a rest. I really don't know how this song fits. I've talked to my crew. Everything will be all right. Come on, let's go into the control room. You better not do anything to hurt her. All right, all right. You're her knight in shining armor. Got it. You wanna play cards? Ooh, they play cards in space. Open, sudden death, random, same plus, same wall, elemental. Wow. What is same wall, by the way? So for the last one is five, six plus two is eight. Okay, we're good. Four plus one is five, four plus six is ten, so we're good. Oh, I'll take Abaddon. You've been waiting for this for a moment for so long? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Space cards? What do you mean space cards? Wow, I have tons of abilities now. Um... Ten fast ammo. We need that star fragment. Eternal Shell, Wizard Stone, Steel Orb, 10 Fast Ammo, X Potion, X Potion, Dark Ammo, Fire Ammo, yeah I'm getting rid of these, Holy Stones, Can go play some more cards. It would only be funny if there was a rare card to get here. There isn't. So that does, that means I don't have to play cards in space. Doctor is running from me. Come here, stupid doctor. I'm not talking about the dangers. You don't want to play cards? Fine. How about you? Do you play cards? You don't. You also don't play cards. There's no one play cards here. My goodness, look at how close we are to the moon. This is no time to be impressed. Look at the monitor there. This monitor? I hear computer noises. That's the... That's the sound from Metal Gear Solid 3. I recognize that sound everywhere. The codex sound. The hell is this? Monsters. Lunar world is a world of monsters. Didn't you learn that at school? 
As you can see, the monsters are gathering at one point. History is about to repeat itself. The lunar cry is starting. Okay. I know Final Fantasy VIII was before Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm just saying they reused the the sound. <laughs> So six plus three is nine and no wait. So six plus three is nine and seven plus two is eight nine. So that's uh same. I don't get it. How is that not a same? Seven plus two is nine and six plus three is nine. That should have worked. Why didn't it work? Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. Plus region. The plus rule was abolished from this region. <laughs> because I won. I won with the plus re rule and then <laughs> they abolished it. Did you see Eloni now? Eloni's room is on the second floor. You can go see her anytime. Wanna play cards? So now I have same only. There's no plus. Great. I thought one of my kids was crying with my stomach. <laughs> I don't know what to say. To them. I don't know what same wall is. And at this point I'm too afraid to ask. is gonna play defensively uh, it's gonna be a draw isn't it Oh, that's right, sudden, it's sudden death, I forgot. these guys and I can turn them into an next potion so uh, alone is on a second floor let's go see here why is this upside down now there she is squall I'm so happy to see you again me too I'm so sorry. I got you involved in so many things. So much hardship. It's alright. I understand. I understand what you're trying to do. Were we of any help? Of course. You were my eyes. Thanks to you guys, I was able to see how much I was loved. I couldn't change the past, but just seeing it was more than enough. Thank you so much. It's okay. came here because I need your help. You said you can't change the past, right? You can't find out things about the past that you never knew. And from what I've learned, what you've learned, you may see things differently from the past in the present. You're the one that changes, not the past. Really? There's no way to change the past? No, I want to find out myself. 
Take me to Renoa's past. I need to see the past through Renoa. I want to find out what happened to her. I want to try to warn her. You want to save her. You don't want to lose Renoa. Squall, I can't. I don't know Renoa. I told you I can only send people I know in the present into people I knew in the past. I brought Renoa with me. She's resting in the mad lab. Please come with me. Want to play cards? Oh, she actually wants to play cards. There might be a card. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you know, you know, you know the drill. You knew I was gonna, I was gonna do the. You want to play cards? Spick, stick, steal, spiel. Would you look at this? <laughs> the game is about to crash. <laughs> oh, I actually got a. Ah, oh, but she got my cards, though. She got my cards. did a royal F up, didn't I? Oh, I gotta close the gap there. Gotta do it here. Whew, that was... No, that's not what I want. Whew, that was close. <laughs> that was a close call, not gonna lie. This is not a great hand. I just got the same wall, yeah. <laughs> it was still a very close call, though. So now if I do this, it's the same? No, it isn't. Okay. Still... Ah, oh, great. Ah, she has Laguna's card. And I got garbage. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter because uh, I'll have to restart anyway. Seriously? Seriously? This game. <laughs> oh, nah, she's not gonna play Odin now. <laughs> this game is just. <laughs> this is just. This, I, I, uh, this game is just. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, fine. Even know what to play to be honest.
I'm a bit of a genius. <laughs> Actually lost here. Yeah. Yeah, take back Laguna, you biatch. Okay, okay. We might, we have a chance to get back Odin. We have a chance to get back Odin. How do I play this though? Just play Laguna. Play Laguna. Ah, oh, right. We didn't play Laguna. Also, I have a garbage hand, so I might as well just. If I lose, I actually wouldn't mind. I'll be just throwing away garbage. I didn't even I didn't get the tactical lo loss. Yeah. And now I can't lose because I have good cards out. Let's do ability, card mod. Want to do a playthrough of eight? I just get bored. <laughs> why, why, why would you get bored? This game, honestly, I thought that would happen uh, when I started playing the game because of my experience in the past, but legit, I've been loving the game so far. So many great moments. Oh, wait, I get it now. So if the card is in a corner, it counts. Oh, I see. Colored me interested. The plot thickens. just feels boring to me when I play it. Ah, uh, fair enough. That happened to me at the beginning, but, um, at the, when I was a kid, not at the beginning, when I was a kid, but this time it didn't. Uh, the game clicked. It's, uh, the, the problem with it is what I've been saying for a while, uh, is the fact that it takes so long to start. <laughs> The fact that it takes a little bit while as a slow burn is a problem. One of your corner number matched the wall. Uh huh. Okay. And now she. Why did. Why is she not playing Laguna? Play Laguna! I didn't see that. 
I did an oopsie. I might lose here. I will restart the game if I lose. To bed. Thanks for being here, Snipes. Oh, would you look at this? The game crashed. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Snipes. Enjoy your enjoy your sleep. It's been good to have you. I hope you have a lovely sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow. Unless you see me in your dreams. I don't know what was the last time I saved actually. Ooh, that was quite a while. So times time to activate the times three here. I'm going straight to or try to win Laguna. Okay, now. No Laguna, first try. It's okay. Wait, was it the... Oh. I forgot the plus rule wasn't... didn't play so the plus rule was still in place because I reloaded the save forgot that little detail I can't believe people play this game without times three. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh, I can just straight up play cards with her. Don't even don't even need to start dialogue. Great. Yo, retro, how's it going? Good to see ya. Happy Tuesday, dude. I like the tune. I just don't think it fits the the place. That's all I'm saying. I think it's weird. It's a weird choice. Here we go. Wait. So the that's, so the thing with the the numbers doesn't count. That's stupid. So the minus doesn't count. It's the initial numbers. Oh, that's So she, she only plays stupid Laguna. I hate this game. I, I hate this game.
I wonder if I can get plus banished again. What did I play cards with? I played with this guy, didn't I? I played with this guy. Play with this guy, and then I played with the girl that was here. And after this, the rule was banished. So we'll try this again. UW wants you? What's UW? Out of curiosity. Uh, you can't win. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna be drawing actually. <laughs> she wants your ability to do something for her? Fair enough. <laughs> Absolutely fair enough. Understandable, have a nice day. Okay, so now the plus rule should be banished. Now the sudden rule was banished. Ah, oh, this game is playing me. So th it's it's absolutely random what you do. It changes the rules randomly. That's great. Everything is random in this game. I, I like the fact that people say, "Hey, you can't say Terra Master is good because it's random." And the rules of this game are random apparently, and this game is better. Yeah, I'm not having it. I'm debunking your this game is better theory. There we go, there's the plus. There's the noise we love and hate. Well, we just hate, actually. Can do nothing there. Sure, don't play Laguna. Who wants Laguna?
Okay. At least I'm not losing. Come on, England. I just need her to play Laguna. Come on, play the Laguna card. Oh. She she will only play Laguna once I lose to her. I'm, I'm getting hands that I can't lose to her because she's gonna pick either G Shiva or Ifrit, and I wanna I don't wanna lose any of these cards. Okay, I will try one more time and then I'll be off. If I don't get a Laguna card, I won't get it then. It's such a BS move that I was able to change to remove the plus rule, but then it just removed the sudden death for some reason. Guess that's the game for ya. Yeah, so it doesn't have RNG. Yeah. I told you. I knew. I knew Terra Master was better. Helicopter, helicopter. I wish I had an Ultra Wife. Yeah, me too. I have to agree on that. <laughs> she got a draw, she got my best cards. Okay, maybe one more. I haven't checked on how to get rid of the rules, but I think even the fact that the rules are removed is random might not happen every time, even if you follow these steps. Yeah, no, that's not true. I don't think so, at least. I played with that one guy, and then I did the same games that I did the the time that I got a rule removed. And I got a rule removed, so that means that's what happens. That means if I play with a girl inside there uh, against her, if I play against her, uh, we're gonna get another rule removed. I just don't know which rule it is, and at this point, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one it is. I'm just gonna play recklessly, and whatever happens, happens. Because why not? Yeah, see, this is this is this is better. <laughs> okay, I actually don't mind losing this hand. This is just garbage cards. I'm just somehow I wanted to lose and I did something. I know I, I was trying to lose they lose believe it or not. Thank you. The open rule was Ah, uh, this game is shambolic. I... 
obviously I give up. Why do I care? Why even bother? It's 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 a hopeless exercise. That's what it is. That's a well played, sir. It is very well played. I even forgot that he got quite a coddle, actually. Honestly, I'm just waiting to lose so I can move on from this. I kind of stomped onto how to get rid of cards. It is true. True, if I wanted to get rid of rules, I could reload the same. But I don't know which rule I will get rid of, so... Not much of a point in it, is it? Is it there? Champ. Of course you got a plus. You are a master in this game. I forgot. My apologies. I wasn't familiar with your game. It doesn't matter what I play. I will get wrecked. Anyway. Because I can't beat my Leviathan card. Oh, I got a draw. That's not bad. Of course you would play that there. It is well played, sir. Or madam. Whatever fits. Of course, obviously, that's... Wow, I still got a draw. Somehow, I still got a draw. I'm just playing as fast as I can so I can lose and we can just move on and... There we go. Now there's no way I can win, right? There we go. Okay. That's it. Um, done playing cards for the day. I'm done playing Final Fantasy VIII for the day. I'll just give you my final thoughts inside of the spaceship and then we'll move on. If you get randomly if you get randomly rid of random, it would be nice. I'm not even gonna try. You know what? I'm just not gonna bother with cards anymore. I think that's maybe the path I should choose in life. I think I'm more interested in the story at this point than to bother trying to get a stupid card that will take me, uh, if any of the other episodes indicate, a shitload of hours. <laughs> so if the game, want, the game wants to be all RNG-ish and uh, not play nice, I, won't ju I, just, I will just not play it. <laughs> I'll just bother with the story and the RPG section of the game, which, by the way, in this episode was great. Um, I have no idea what... Uh, I have no idea what's happening in the story. This completely jumped the shark. We're going to space. <laughs> we have the team split up into two parties, which is a very Final Fantasy thing to do near the end. So I'm excited to see what happens next. Uh, still no idea what's happening with Renoa and how they're going to save her or whatever. <laughs> so I'm very much looking forward to... Um, the next episode to see what happens next and i hope it's I hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace out <laughs>